In this video, I'm going to be going over how to edit videos for Instagram stories. So I'm not talking about just using the Instagram stories app to shoot something around and post it. I'm talking about shooting something on like a more professional camera, um, a GoPro, or maybe you just shoot footage outside of Instagram stories in like a regular camera app and like how to put that together into a video that you'll upload. And before I kick this off, I am collaborating with a buddy of mine, Jeremy, who's showing you how to do this video on Premiere Pro. So if you want to know the Final Cut version, watch this one. If you want to know the Premiere version, watch his. Or if you just want to get uh, a better understanding of this entire process, I think it's beneficial to watch both. So definitely check out Jeremy's video too. It's something that him and I have both been experimenting with for some time. And I think what makes Instagram Stories so cool is that it can literally be anything. It, it could be filming, drawing something, um, time lapses. It, uh, it It's whatever you want and you just post it there. There's really no like rules or any, you just like post whatever you want and whatever you create. And that's what I love so much about Instagram stories. And the first thing that I want to explain before we jump into any editing for this at all is that everything Everything is shot like this. So all the video is shot like this. Um, like anytime I'm using a GoPro, I'm not shooting with the GoPro like this. I'm shooting with the GoPro sideways. So wherever the subject is, it's you have to fill the screen like completely differently than you would a normal camera. Because if you shoot like this, you're gonna get the highest quality possible because you're not like stretching out the frame. And you'll see that in the edit, as opposed to something like this, where this will be completely stretched out because of how close you have to get to like fill up the different resolution for a phone versus what you would do for a computer. So let's get into it now. All right, so the first thing you'll wanna do is when you open up Final Cut Pro and you go to start a new project, it's you're going to have to update the resolution to, or the frame size, whatever you're going to want to call it. Um, you're going to want to basically completely rotate it from the original size that you would typically make any YouTube video by. So um, when you launch the new project, make sure you change in the video properties, the format to custom, and you're going to flip these two numbers here. So you're going to do 1080 by 1920. And then you can basically start editing videos for Instagram stories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take two clips here just to show you an example. Uh, so once you start pulling your clips out into your timeline, uh, it's gonna look kind of funny just because you'll have these like black bars up and below your video. What you're gonna wanna do is grab the video and rotate it exactly 90 degrees so I use this there's like a little counter in the top left and if you just rotate it 90 degrees and then you pull it to fill the frame completely then it should come out normal um, for me it's taken me a little bit just to get used to like seeing this is normal and you'll basically see when you move this when you move the video to your phone it actually looks so much more normal than it does within Final Cut Pro. So once you're done and you have your video, uh, you're gonna want to share a master file. And then I'm just gonna name this test one. Uh, go to your settings. Make sure you have the full resolution. Sometimes it'll have one of these checked. Uh, and you just wanna make sure to get the highest quality to Instagram. Just make sure you have the 1080 by 1920. And then you can just export it. And then once we get that, I will show you how to upload it. All right, so now that we have it exported, uh, I find it the easiest just to airdrop it to myself. So once once I get it to my phone, I'm gonna just change the screen recording to, to the phone. Okay, so now what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna launch Instagram and you'll want to swipe to the right so you can add one of your Instagram stories and then you'll want to swipe up and that's where you'll see a list of the last 24 hours of photos that have been or videos that have been added to your gallery. Now when you export from Final Cut Pro 
that's the date that it thinks that you can upload. So you have up to 24 hours from the moment that you exported it to upload it to your story. And then now you'll see you have a nice little clip here to upload. You can just see the difference. It's like much better than cell phone quality, but it's not like professionally shot. And I'm just shooting it on a Canon point and shoot. All right, so there you have it. That is the basics of how to upload a video to Instagram stories. Now, one thing to keep in mind is your videos can be a maximum of 15 seconds for each upload. So let's say you put together a vertical video and it's a minute long, you're gonna have to cut it up into equal parts where it ends at 15 seconds so that you can get that full upload. But um, there's really no way that you could just upload, you know, a minute's worth of content and Instagram automatically cuts it up. Uh, that would be cool if someone did something like that. But, but I hope this tutorial helped uh, you guys watching it. And also check out Jeremy's video if you want to see how to do this in Premiere Pro. And if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below. Uh, please leave a like if this helped you out and subscribe if you found this useful.